Hey guys! <clears throat> so, today we'll be talking about how to craft the perfect prompt for your ChatGPT4 session. Now, this is going to be useful for everybody using AIs in general, but my goal here today is to look at it from the perspective of a marketer and how we as marketers can use ChatGPT4 to improve our uh, marketing strategies from the AI product. Now there are a lot of AIs which can be used for marketing but I think ChatGPT4 might be the best because that's the one which allows you to analyze, compare, contrast and create new content easily. Uh, sure, Jasper is a good one, Copy AI is a good one for copy but from the perspective of research and validation, if we're talking about the first stage, uh, the first stage of marketing, if we're talking about multiple stages of marketing materials, which you can do, then ChatGPT4 is the best. So, before we begin, I ask you to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. It helps the algorithm, and it helps for me to bring more content to you. Uh, on this channel and helps the channel grow. Now, let's get to the main event. So, as you can see, the first uh, prompt we'll be looking at here is a, a real case study. Granted, I've done the prompts after we already had the marketing strategy, but that's how I decided to go with it, right? So, it was a medical tourism agency operating in Spain. So, first you ask, write me an outline to the market, a new medical tourism agency in Spain, and it gives me an okay result. It's not bad, but like it lacks everything. It's like a good outline, a good summary, some good spark notes. Nowhere where we want to go. So, how do we actually improve upon it? Well, first is expand, but how? Well, here's my proposed second uh, version of this prompt. You're an expert in marketing and branding. I'll give you the category and the brand and I would like you to outline how you would market the product. Your product is the medical tourism in Spain on Costa Blanca for British audience. Now, as you can see on the right, it actually gives quite a lot of information, way more structured and way more specific to the actual core of the product. Right here on the next slide, you can see this information even more expanded. It gave me points on six key areas. Objectives, marketing channels, key messages, public relationships, promotions, monitoring and evaluation. And to be honest, even right here, there were some some points which I missed, like I didn't think about it when we actually worked with the company. And on the right here, you can also see the, the table, right? So it's another way how we can see it, but that's a bit later. So what's up with this structure? Well, let us say you're an expert in marketing and branding. It tells the AI from which data set you should pull from right or like which persona you should use which avatar and in this instance it's the avatar it should aim to act like the marketers marketing specialists smm marketers it met online and like through reddit discussions facebook from wherever the actual data set was taken to train ChatGPT 4 then it will says i'll give you the category and the brand that tells the AI what information it should take account from your following prompts then you specify, I would like you to outline how you would market the product. Again, you can specify it even more. But even this tells the AI, it narrows it down what you actually want to receive. So, you know, you're setting constraints. And we're going to talk about constraints in a little bit. <clears throat> so, and here we go. Your product is the medical tourism in Spain on Costa Blanca for the British audience. Now. This is the request which provides you to better control the following prompts by separating this separately, right, as a variable. So, it gives a pretty good answer. Again, I, I'm judging it. I think it's a pretty good marketing start, marketing draft 
Well, how can we improve it? Well, we need to structure the information. How do we do this? Well, here are some commands you can do. Uh, give me the table view. As you can see here, it gave me the table view of the marketing channels which I asked for. I asked it to give me an ordered list. Again, it uh, ranked it from high to medium to low. And gave me reasoning, which I asked in the prompt, for it to reason why it's so important. All right? Still thinks website and SEO are the most important ones. Is it? Tell me in the comments below. How important are websites and SEOs today? I'm admittedly of two minds about it. Anyways, and then you can ask it for it to compare and analyze. And here's the tricky part. If you're going to ask it for compare and analyze, there are certain things it can compare and analyze. And there are certain things it's really bad at comparing and analyzing. Marketing is an area which it's not very good because there is no framework on which it compares. That's why a bit of a sneak peek in the future, well, you can give it context for it to become better at comparing and analyzing. But before we get there, before we actually get there, how can you improve your prompt without changing the prompt? Well, simply refresh. When you refresh the same prompt, chances are it's going to give you a better result. You know, there's this video, which is this Sparks of AGI, really great lecture on YouTube. And there is an example where the lecture asks ChatGPT4 to write a, to draw a unicorn and then asked it to do it five times. And at first it was just a series of ovals. By the fifth one, it was pretty much a real unicorn. And here's an example how I asked it to do with the budget allocation. Again, same exact prompts. I just asked it to do it again and improve upon it maybe. And that's what it gave me. It's, the results are significantly different. Right? Again, and it looked at the previous one, at the previous table which we had. So it's like website and SEO is the highest priority. So it allocated the most dollars, well, the most of the budget for it, and so on, right? Now, now, this is very important. When you're talking to a human, you want the human to think outside of the box. With AI, it's a bit different. Its genius comes from being inside the box. The AI thinks by generating what is the next probable word or letter or like sentence. And the less data it has, the larger are the variety of percentages it's going to generate. I'm dumbing it down, but that's the general principle it works. And when you give it constraints, the probabilities, the percentages, they increase, right? So, the better is the box, the better is the AI. ChatGPT4 is at its best when you give it a lot of constraints. So, how does this work here? Well, here, as you can see in this prompt, I gave it constraints. So, I gave it two major constraints. I gave it the marketing budget, which was $1,000 per month. And I told you, like, when you judge how high or low the priority the social media should be, bear in mind, medical tourism company doesn't have any followers yet. So it's zero. And that's when I generated the table with the reasoning that it provided and judge high and low priorities based on those constraints. Say, for example, I said that we already have a website, then improving on it would have been a lower uh, priority because it simply already would have existed and changes to it would have been minimal and would have been minimal to the actual outcome of how many new clients is going to generate because it already exists and another important thing which a lot of people miss is when you finish to work ask what's missing seriously AI can uh, Think, well, think, like, you know, generate 
a lot of data and it can keep in mind a lot of data, more data than a human does. And when you're working the flow, you're probably going to miss quite a bit. You're going to forget, you're going to get carried away. Well, that's when at the end when you finish, you can ask what's missing from the data or the outputs. Quite simple, easy, and most important, effective. As you can see, I asked it here and it went point by point and gave me few bullet points per each of how each and every one here can be improved. Right? How content, public relationships, referral programs worked wonders. And now, the main thing, the most important thing, context. Seriously, by feeding ChatGPT4 information, you're feeding context. And ChatGPT4 doesn't know about you. Sure, it knows about marketing, pretty good. ChatGPT 3.5 was two year old experience SEO. ChatGPT 4, six years work experience SEO. Just in comparison, six years is more experience than I've done SEO in my life. But here's the thing, ChatGPT 4 doesn't know anything about you. It knows only about the general data. It doesn't know about your use case. It doesn't know about your social media account. It doesn't know the target audience you're aiming for. It doesn't know about your prices. It doesn't know about your product. Well, chances are it may know if it's, we're talking about something very popular which was taken into the data set. And there are ways you can check the data set to see if your company was taken in it. But say you're working with a new client. Well, his data isn't in the data set yet. So the more context, the more content you feed for ChatGPT4 to take into the account, the more points of comparison and analysis you provide for it, even not evident points, the better will be the result of ChatGPT4. So, and again, as you can see here, before you even get to the first slide, before you get to the first prompt of saying you are the marketer and the branding expert, before you do all of this, give it as much non-NDA data which you can provide it for and your results will skyrocket. I want to stress, I want to stress, do not give it NDA data. ChatGPT4 keeps data, well, uh, they're changing a bit of the privacy. Um, new privacy solutions they have but they do not they do mistake they do keep your data for the most part that's there was a weird story with samsung where they fed nda data well it sped up their work but they gave open ai secret samsung data or simmons one of those so don't do that please <clears throat> Now, is this enough? Well, what I actually will be doing in the next video is I will be in real time judging how good of a strategy uh, ChatGPT4 generated for me for one of my projects. We'll be doing this in real time. We're going to see how it actually works. I'm going to give you my thoughts about it. Uncensored, non-bullshit thoughts about it. So. Please leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe. It helps the algorithm. It helps the channel grow. It helps me bring more uh, videos like this and improve upon them. You can find out more about me on Instagram and LinkedIn primarily down below. You can also check out other videos. Again, you can, it should appear somewhere here at the moment. I'm still getting used to it. I'm sorry. And but basically, I hope you enjoyed the video and looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.